we're gonna go over unpacking and assembling your HD unit. This will also be the same if you go and do a fatty or a sport, very similar. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to loosen, take the bolts out on the gooseneck and holding it in place there. That's gonna be with the 3 16th Allen. The other tool you're gonna need is a number 12 metric socket or a wrench, a box wrench to uh, undo the bolts on the frame. But we're just gonna go through this part first. After you remove that plate, that can be discarded and it's not needed. Um, that is only for packing and shipping. If I keep the screws, keep the bolts that you take out, you will need those to put the handlebar on. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna go ahead and cut the uh, zip ties that are holding the handlebar on. Carefully lay the handlebars down to the side. You'll be attaching those uh, in a later step. Then you're gonna wanna start taking off the bolts of the frame to get the frame loose and away from the scooter. So you're gonna remove the two top ones on both sides, the center rails that are there. Then the next step, you're gonna remove on the bottom side, on both sides, the bottom bolts to this frame. And again, you're gonna to wanna to do the bottom side of the front as well. And this is going to allow you to go ahead and remove the entire top of the metal frame. Okay, once you've got all those bolts, there should be eight bolts total. You're gonna just simply take the side arms and lay them back across each other to the ground. Both sides. Once you've done that, you should now be able to lift the top part of the frame completely off the bottom of frame and set it aside this is going to free up give you the space to continue working on the scooter the next part you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and put the handlebars on and basically the handlebars are taking place of that plate that you removed earlier in the process so you're going to want to make sure your uh, headlight is off It'll allow you access to putting the bolts in to the gooseneck for the handlebar. Again, though, you're using the same bolts that you took out of the uh, uh, of the unpacking process. You're going to use those same ones to put back in, tighten down. You will have this Allen wrench is in your tool kit, which can be found inside the black box. You can see there on the deck that comes with your scooter. So you'll want to open that first to get those uh, tools out if you do not have a set of Allen tools. Next step, you're going to look towards the back wheel. You're going to see that there's some wire cables. You want to undo those wire cables from around the axle. Remove that wire that's holding the rear of the scooter down. It's on both sides. And just as an added note, one of the last things you're going to want to, as far as uh, preparing your scooter, is just check the air pressure 
in the front and rear tires. Sometimes we do ship with a little bit less air in the rear, so you wanna pump that up to about 12 to 14 PSI. So once you remove those cables, you're just gonna simply roll the scooter forward and out of those little chalk holes, and then go ahead and move it away from the metal frame. You do not wanna run over the sharp corners of these parts here. That's why you wanna roll it forward and then move the tires out. So you don't wanna cause any damage on the tires. And that will be how you unpack and assemble your scooter. Enjoy.